Video start! Let me tell you something about Whimsy. It's the spice of life. Meow! You see, I live my life on the side of Whimsy because life tends to be a deplorable nightmare scape in which there is only one equally deplorable exit. Your butt. I might be getting life mixed with chronic diarrhea again, but either way, the point is, it's nice to look on the funny side of things. Take, for example, my recent visit to the park. For those of you who live in a pineapple under the sea, I live in Wisconsin, or the dandruff of America as it's never referred to. We tend to get a lot of snow around here, but last week it was warm enough for it to feel like spring outside but with snow on the ground. My wife wanted to have a family trip to the park, to which I responded with, ugh, really? And then she stared at me with, the, with, her, with her anger eyes, and then I consulted the dice for advice on how to deal with my wife. And, and then she said, I will, I will leave you for that bartender down the road if you ever do that again. I just didn't want to go because it was still kind of cold outside and there was still snow and ice on the ground and I, why would you want to go to the park with, in that kind of environment? But when the first mildly comfortable spring day comes by, you tend to do some crazy things here and by crazy I mean like naked undersea grilling which is a new sport that I just made up. So my wife dragged me to the park and I saw the entire jungle gym area was just covered in ice all over the ground. But it gave me an idea, ice is one of my favorite pastimes even though I can't skate and I made the best of a bad situation. Why did I marry you? You can't be without me. I wouldn't you call damn it. Oh my god. Am I gonna break YouTube policy with that ass? In conclusion, whimsy is a mental disorder that I never want to be cured of, un unless it's unless it turns out to be terminal, in which case I'll be, be we're back to the whole nightmare escape thing, which may or may not be diarrhea.